you know, we, we got to continue to um, you know, get, get people out here. You know, it's great to have a crowd like that. It's great to have, you know, your student body, you know, telling you that you're coming to the game, you know, to get out a sold-out crowd, you know. Just being able to have that, you know, fires us up, you know, and uh, you got to be able to, you know, execute, you know, win games, you know, because that, that's what's going to bring people out, winning games. Nobody wants to come here and see you lose games. So, you know, we have to take that into consideration, you know. Nobody wants to just show up to see you lose. So, you know, we definitely got to, you know, come next next home game or even the next game and, and show up and get the job done. You guys go down 7-0 and, and make that 18-0 run and the place, you know, you couldn't hear the guy next to you. How emotional of a moment, you know, was that when, when the place was rocking and what was really clicking for, for you guys? I think we were just playing the right way. Um, I think we played with great energy throughout the whole game. I think we played the, the right way during that time. We, uh, we got stops. We found good shots on the other end. We didn't let our emotions get the best of us. Um, things didn't go our way. And uh, we just stayed together. We, we rallied. And good things started happening. And when good things start happening, it becomes a snowball effect. And likewise, on the other end, when bad things start happening, sometimes it becomes a snowball effect as well. Yeah, I think we did a great job, you know, going down 7-0, crowd like that, you know, a team like that, you know, you know, sometimes that can shock you. You know, I think we, we did a great job responding. We just have to keep that same intensity throughout the 40, 40 minutes of basketball. And, you know, that's tough. You know, we're still trying to learn each other and still trying to, you know, build confidence for other guys. You know, that's the hardest part is, you know, being a leader is, you know, one of the jobs we have to do is, you know, is bring confidence for the other players. A lot of new guys, a lot of, this is a new situation for a lot of people, a new atmosphere, you know. So we got we to gotta make sure they're confident as well. And I think, you know, there's a stretch where we were confident in doing what we do. And we have to keep that for 40 minutes. Are you guys going to enter the court through the student section every game? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I, 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 I hope so. I hope so. I, I think that was... I think that was really good for us. I think that excited the crowd. I think that excited the student section. And I think that's, that's one of the ways that we'll keep the students uh, coming to the games. Because I think they really enjoyed that. And um, like you asked us how are we going to keep them coming. I think that's a great way to keep them coming. Also show show our appreciation to them on campus. And um, some, of us, some of them follow us on IG and yeah. Instagram and things like that. So, just to continue to show our appreciation. So I hope we I hope we do keep coming. Was that planned or did you just sort yeah, of? Yeah, we planned that today. Uh, what, what happened in the second half um, that, went, that went wrong knowing that at halftime you were tied and you just went downhill in the second half? Um, we, we knew they were going to come out and be aggressive. We knew they were going to come out and try to throw a punch, you know. And, and, you know, we tried to, but, you know, they threw the first one and we didn't respond as fast as we should have. We should have responded faster, you know, maybe, you know, uh, slowed the game down and, and tried to get great shots. We, we, we had possessions where we ran the offense at great pace and got good shots, but, you know, we have to, we have to make sure we get stops, you know, because stops win the, win the ball game and stops make you comfortable. You know, even when you're not making shots, stops keep you in the game. So, you know, they came out really aggressive and we knew they were, and, you know, we have to be the aggressive next time. We have to come out and be aggressive. We can't, we can't be back on our heels. We have to dictate the game. You guys mentioned about how you have new guys. You have, you're still trying to get into the flow of things, understand each other. Is that even tougher when you have an event like this where there's a lot of emotion and excitement and a lot of hype around it? Where you, it's, it's not just about what you guys are doing on the basketball court. Um, to an extent, you know, there's a lot of things going on. You know, but the focus has to be on basketball. You know, that's what we're here to do. You guys come, people come to buy tickets to see us play basketball. So our focus has to be on basketball. And, you know, like you said, a lot of new guys, a lot of new atmosphere. So, you know, <coughs> some guys, you know, you have to bring back in, you know, and, and that's okay because that, as a leader, like I said, there's some things we have to do and we have to adjust to. We have to fix and we have to correct that. So, you know, I think, you know, focus, focusing for 40 minutes is, is really key. You know, we can't play good basketball for 20. 32, or even 40, I mean, even 39 minutes, you know, it has to be still 40 minutes, and focusing is really key. I put to the boot, you all right? What happened? Uh, yeah, I sprained my ankle yesterday, okay. so I had to get x-rays, and uh, it's not broke. That's good. <laughs> Any other questions for you guys?
um, does your ankle bother you during the game or affect your game at all? Um, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe on my jumper a little bit because you expect a little bit more lift and because it is a little weak right now. Maybe I didn't get seven shots up to the rim the way I wanted to. But I didn't really notice it. I played on ankle sprains before, so. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.